It's that time of the year again here on Asian Film Fans, where we check out the top 10 highest grossing movies of 2023. In this video, we're going to check out what movies were the most popular in China and exactly how much money they made. And for the first time in a very long time, the Chinese top 10 list is actually all composed of Chinese films. No Marvel, no Fast and Furious, nothing else. 2023 wasn't a particularly impressive year for results. However, the top two films in the list did make enough to push their way into the overall top 10 highest grossing Chinese movies of all time. This list is all cinematic blockbusters made up of comedies, dramas, thrillers, animations, and sequels. Before we get started, let's check out the 10 films that didn't make the list, starting at 20. We need a distraction. Now, on to the top 10. Starting at number 10 is the comedy film Godspeed, released on the 28th of April and earning an impressive 1.184 billion RMB during its theatrical run. One of the many surprise entries on this year's list, this comedy film looked to be more blah than ha. Even with its impressive cast list of Xiao Chan, Chang Yuan, and Ma Li. The film was about a family of four who go through a life-changing experience while on a road trip. Users on Dolban, the Chinese movie portal website similar to IMDb, were a little more generous than other reviewers, awarding this film a 5.8 out of 10. We haven't seen this film, so we can't pass any judgment, but initial observations are not positive. Coming in the ninth position was the long, long, long delayed Zhang Yimou thriller, Under the Light, which was eventually released for Chinese national holiday on the 28th of September, but only managing to make 1.351 billion RMB. This is one of two Zhang Yimou movies on this list, and it was another movie with a highly impressive cast list, including Lei Jiayin, He Wei Yu, Zhang Gu Li, Dong Yu Zhou, and Joan Chen. This thriller dealt with the themes of corruption, specifically within the ranks of law enforcement and the influence of a rich businessman on the powerful elite. This is another movie we haven't had the chance to watch yet, but we are very excited to. In 8th is the Yearly Boonie Bears sequel tradition. This is a popular animated series of films that always release on Chinese New Year, and this year was no different. This is the first of three Chinese New Year movies to make this list, with this one netting an impressive 1.495 billion RMB, which is above average for this movie series. These films always get dubbed into English as there is a huge English market for the series, and while they look cheerful and colourful, we've never actually seen one of the Boonie Bears movies. And if you're wondering, yes, there is a movie set for 2024 Chinese New Year release. From children's animation to serious animation, if that's a genre, is this charming yet overly long film that also goes by the title of 30,000 Miles from Chang'an. Released on the 8th of July and earning itself 1.824 billion RMB, puts it in clear 7th position on this list. This animation tells the tale of a military commander recalling a story of his defeat in a military battle. Stunning animation underpins this charming film, and its long running time didn't dissuade the audience with an impressive 8.3 user rating. And as you'll see, this is one of quite a few very long movies to make this list. In sixth position was the second biggest surprise hit of the year. Never Say Never was released on the 6th of July, and impressive word of mouth helped the movie to a return of 2.207 billion RMB and a user rating of 7.3. The brainchild of Wang Baoqian, 
who wrote, acted and directed the film, this is a pure labour of love and it shows in every frame on the screen. Loosely based on a true story, we follow an ex-boxing champion who trains a group of kidnapped orphans to be brutal fighters with the aim of putting on public performances for money. However, two of the boys show some talent and end up on the real fighting circuit, only for everything to come crashing down once the truth is revealed, leading to a nationwide scandal. A mix of action and comedy, both genres which Bao Yang Chang is famous for, and adding a dash of human drama, makes this one of the must-watch movies on this list. Coming in at number 5, this highly anticipated epic failed to make the mark on the box office that was anticipated. After a series of delays, the film was eventually released on the 20th of July, with a worldwide release some 5-6 to six weeks later after the film had already premiered on Chinese web streaming. A return of 2.634 billion RMB may seem impressive, but this was a film that was 10 years in the making, and is the beginning of a planned trilogy by director Wu Shan. This movie brings to life the classic Fen Shenbang characters such as Zhang Jia, Ne Jia, King Zhou, the Fox Demon and more in an epic fantasy war tale that is, for the most part, highly impressive. A special effects masterpiece, this movie was lauded as China's Lord of the Rings, but the director and his investors will be hoping that the next two films can help recoup some of the cost of this production. It's a good film and very enjoyable, but we're starting to wonder if audiences are starting to get a little bored with stories about the Fen Shen Bung, as they seem to be getting bored with movies about the Monkey King. When producer Si Cheng Chen puts his name on a film, they tend to do well. Think the Detective Chinatown series or Sheep Without a Shepherd, and really, it's the only way to explain this movie's massive box office return of 3.523 billion RMB, because the movie itself isn't that great. Released on the 22nd of June, the movie was an immediate hit with the audience, with a mix of an attractive cast including Zhu Yilong, Nini, Du Zhang, and the always stunning Janice Mann. This movie is both a remake of a Russian comedy and also very, very loosely based on a real-life case from Thailand. Regardless of its roots, it's still a Chinese thriller at heart, and while the ending reveal was a great twist, the bit that happens afterwards lets the whole film down. If you can ignore that element, this is still a very slick and stylish film with fantastic acting and enough twists and turns to keep your interest. Just. This movie was hands down, no pun intended, the biggest surprise entry of the year. The actual biggest surprise of the year are the two movies in the next two positions, but bursting its way into a very clear third place with 3.848 billion RMB is this highly topical audience favourite. We've all received those scam SMSs, WhatsApp messages and emails. This movie lifts the curtain on the nefarious people behind those scams, the innocent people caught up in perpetrating the scams, and of course the hapless victims who lose all their money, their family, and in some cases, their lives. I don't think anyone expected this movie to do as well as it did, with a very modest budget and a not so big cast. There are a few well-known actors here, such as Eric Wang, Darren Talu Wang, and Gina Chen, but otherwise what should have been a run-of-the-mill production that would have ended up on streaming in a few weeks ended up being a mega hit that is yet to release on streaming, meaning this is a movie that we haven't had a chance to watch yet. This movie has already spawned a copycat with the Dong Yu Zhou below average thriller Tainted Love, and if trends are anything to go by, expect there to be several dozen movies about scammers and their victims in the next few years. No, we aren't confused or have the wrong information here. The Wandering Earth 2 is not the movie of the year. In fact, this sequel fell 600 million RMB short of the 2019 original, which itself was not the top movie of the year of release. Chinese New Year is a prime date for movie releases, as you'll see here with this and the next film, and this ended up earning a still very impressive 4.029 billion RMB, pushing itself into the 10th position in the overall highest grossing list of Chinese movies, with the original still sitting at number 5. This movie is not actually a sequel, but a prequel of sorts. It tells the story of how the Wandering Earth project began, and details the involvement of Moss, the AI who controls the whole project. Andy Lau joins Wu Jing in the all-star cast of this one, and they are reuniting yet again for the third movie in the series, which is set for a 2027 release, so expect that movie to take place between part 2 and part 1. 
If ever a movie needed an intermission for the cinema, this is it. At almost three hours, I would have appreciated the pause when I watched it in the cinema to allow me to empty my bladder without missing any of the action. And here it is. The top Chinese movie of the year is yet another Zhang Yimou blockbuster. This time, a comedy action mystery film that has a surprisingly just above average user score of 7 for a movie that was the top film of the year. As mentioned, this is yet another Chinese New Year release, and after a sluggish start which saw The Wandering Earth 2 in top spot for about a week, this movie burst into the lead, ending up with an impressive 4.544 billion RMB and earning itself 6th place on the overall highest grossing Chinese movies list. Led by the talented Shen Ten, Jackson Yi, Lei Jiaying, and Zhang Yi, this movie is set in the Song Dynasty, where a commander and a lowly officer are given a few hours to solve the mystery of a murdered delegate from a neighboring empire. A comedic and entertaining series of events occurs, and for a movie that clocks in at over two and a half hours, it's surprisingly pacey, keeping the audience on their toes. But it's quite a unique film, blending composition, music, and poetry together to solve the mystery and making this one of Jung Yimul's most successful and most unique movies of all time. That's the top 10 highest grossing Chinese movies at the box office for 2023. Which movies have you seen and what did you think of them? Are there any surprises in this list for you? Keep an eye out for more videos like this. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe to Asian Film Fans. We will catch you next time.